Welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a sort of wavy text or effect in Blender, similar to the kind of wavy effect seen with the turbulent displacement transition in After Effects. So we're just going to be displacing a scene to a texture in the compositor. Okay? And in the description of this video, we've included a starter blend file for you to download and render, and it's nothing special. It's very similar to what you'd get if you followed our 3D text tutorial or our Viney Vines tutorial. So just make sure you have that starter blend rendered and then we can get started making the effect. Alright, so first thing you want to do is make sure you're in the node editor of the compositor. So click this here and click node editor. And now we're going to add a new texture. So in the right of the screen here in the texture settings, click new. I'm going to change the texture type from in your movie to stitchy. Alright? And we're going to bump the turbulence up to 8. And now we're going to add in this texture in the compositor. So click Add, Input, Texture. Pick it up, up here. And click this box here and select the texture that we've just created. And now we're going to add the displacement node that's going to displace our scene here to the texture. So click Add, Distort, Displace, hook it up after our scene here, and hook the color output of the texture node to the vector input of the displacement node. Alright, so now before this texture affects our scene, we're going to have to look at the settings in this displacement node here. So, the X scaling setting here is basically how much our scene is going to be affected by the texture from side to side. And our Y scale setting here is going to determine how much our scene is affected by our texture upwards and downwards. So, let's put the X scale to negative 80 so you guys can see. And let's put the Y scale to 20. And you can see we've got a squiggly kind of text now. So let's say we want our text to start waving at frame 30. Well, we're going to start animating our text. So jump to frame 30 to animate we are going to hover our cursor over the X and Y scaling values and press I to insert the keyframes and let's say we want it to wave from frame 30 to frame 80 let's jump to frame 80 and pull the X and Y scaling values to 0 and insert keyframes for both of them Alright, so now from frame 30 to frame 80, our scene is going to be affected by our texture. So now what we want to do is we want to animate our texture so that we get that kind of waving text. So let's jump to frame 10, hover our cursor over the texture size setting here, press I to insert the keyframe, and let's jump to frame 90. Have our cursor over the size again. We're going to put the size up to 0.4. And now we're going to insert that keyframe. Alright, so now it's going to just wave from frame 30 to frame 80. Because our scene is going to be, st it's going to stop being affected by our texture at frame 80. Alright. So let's make sure we've got this animation down packed. Now before frame 30, we don't want our text object or our text scene to be affected by the texture. So we're just going to jump to frame 29, we'll jump to frame 25, we'll do 5 frames before frame 30 and click the X and Y scaling values and put them to zero. And 
insert those keyframes and now we've got our wavy text effect all right so on its own the effect doesn't look like much it looks like just some wavy warpy kind of effect but added to an intro or an animation it can really just add that kind of effect that makes it stand out so we're done with this tutorial Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.